Hi guys, technologies are evolving, and this also applies to the military sphere. In this release, we will talk about six interesting military inventions. Let's get started. Soft Robotic Exosuit Harvard has developed a new generation of soft Echobots, using innovative textiles and providing a more comfortable, unobtrusive, and functional means of interaction with the muscles and the human body. These robots will complement the capabilities of fit people, for example, by improving the effectiveness of walking. It can be used by the military and can equally be useful for people with disabilities or for those suffering from physical or neurological disorders. Compared to the traditional exoskeleton, these systems have several advantages. The human joints are not limited to external rigid frames, and the working part of the suit is very light. These properties exclude the interference of the suit with the natural biomechanics of the body and provide a more synergistic interaction with the body. A key feature of exosuits is that if activated segments are disabled, the size and the fit change too. Therefore, the entire suit in the deactivated state is no different from ordinary clothing. Active Denial System The Active Denial System, also known as the Beam of Pain, is one of several weapons developed under the Weapon of Effects program. It is a device that emits electromagnetic oscillations with a frequency of 94 GHz in the millimeter wave band which has a short-term shock effect on people. The behavior caused by this ray is called the immediate and highly motivated salvage behavior, or briefly, the goodbye effect. The principle of the installation is based on the fact that when a beam hits a person, 83% of the energy of this radiation is absorbed by the upper layer of the skin, which causes a feeling of immersion in molten metal. About 10,000 tests show that the pain threshold was reached within 3 seconds of irradiation, and after 5 seconds, the pain became unbearable. Triton G810 The Strike Group unveiled an armored boat Triton G810 at the Eurosatory 2018 Military Exhibition in Paris. The length of the boat is 319 inches, the width of the deck is 91 inches, while it can accommodate up to 10 people. Two outboard 250 horsepower engines provide a maximum speed of 50 miles an hour, and the 350 horsepower motor version reaches a speed of 62 miles an hour. A cabin provides security, maneuverability, and stability in the most difficult weather conditions. It is made of high-density composite materials. The cabin is armored and has six loopholes. The roof of the cockpit is equipped with a gun point armed with a 12.7 caliber machine gun. Another machine gun is mounted on the front of the boat and is equipped with a folding seat for the shooter, which gives him an opportunity to overlap the horizon by 180 degrees. The total weight of the boat is 3.7 tons. TCAD Drone Startup Duke Robotics introduced TCAD, a drone capable of carrying small arms from a rifle to a grenade launcher and shooting from them. The first prototype of TCAD appeared in 2015 and was immediately adopted by the IDF. Over the past three years, the drone has been redefined. Now, there is no longer recoil due to the new stabilization system. The latest version of the drone lifts into the air any weaponry weighing up to 22 pounds. At least for now, drones are controlled remotely and shoot only at the command of the operator. Now, a startup is looking for investors, but rumors say that the Israeli military has already agreed with Duke Robotics to purchase the party. Negotiations with the U.S. military are underway, too. Atmos The Atmos artillery unit meets the need for light, long-range, and high-speed artillery on the battlefield. Providing high firepower, mobility, and minimal response time, Atmos quickly turns into combat mode and can work in almost any terrain. The Atmos Adaptable Modular System works with various all-wheel drive trucks and cannons of any caliber and range. The combination of the built-in electronic module, automatic guidance system, and automatic charging system 
provides exceptional advantages, including accurate navigation and autonomous operation, the minimum number of crew members, increased firepower and accuracy. The artillery systems are equipped with fire control computers, speed radar, inertial navigation system, and a target data acquisition system. Skywall 100 The fight against unwanted drones is evolving into a new level. The company OpenWorks Engineering announced the release of a handheld portable grenade launcher, Skywall 100, designed to eliminate the UAVs. However, the use of Skywall 100 does not lead to the physical elimination of the drone. Instead of a grenade with an explosive substance, a pneumatic shot of a container with a large net is used. The network envelops the UAV and blocks its propellers, after which the drone is lowered to the ground by parachute. The declared firing range is up to 328 feet. The device is equipped with an intelligent guidance system that facilitates target acquisition and accurate shooting. In addition to the portable installation for shooting drones, Skywall 100 also announced launching of the Skywall 300 model. It is made in the form of a gun turret intended for permanent use in a given place.